Gracie Horn, and I am a multidisciplinary artist based out of St. Paul, Minnesota, and I am a tribal member of the System Wapton Oyate and the Standing Rock Nation. System Wapton Oyate is located in South Dakota and Standing Rock Nation is located in North Dakota. Today, I am here to show you how to do easy at-home printmaking utilizing potatoes and apples. Here is an example and another right here. Coloring activity that is printable, downloadable, and printable online that should be attached to this. This is an art activity where we're talking about the Thunderbird, which are the protectors of humans, and the water snake, or AKA river snake, and his name is Wabadusha. Some of the supplies that you should have is a large piece of paper. Doesn't matter if it's not that big. Um, if you wanna like paste or tape together a couple pieces of paper, that's completely fine. So you should have a large piece of paper, a potato, an apple, a knife or pumpkin carving utensils, paint, whether that be tempera paint or acrylic paint, if paint is fine, paint brushes, rags for cleanup, an adult, that, this, that's a big one. You should definitely have an adult because we're gonna be using a knife today to cut out our, our stamps and we don't want to have any access. Please ask somebody to assist you in this. Um, you should have your printable images that we're gonna be col coloring and then cutting out. You can use your own if you want to um, draw up your own, that's completely fine. Scissors, a glue stick, pencils, or markers. Whatever you want to use to, to color in that image, that's completely fine. I just wanted to share a little bit about our two muses today, our two inspirations. In life, a lot of us are told stories when we're very young. And we're very fortunate to those people that are our storytellers, that pass on our heritage or our culture. And, and a lot of stories I got to hear when I was young, maybe around your age. You know, as an adult, I'm one of the elders and I called my number one elder. Her name is Kushi Martroselli. Um, Kushi means grandmother, and that's what we say to our grandmothers is Kushi. Kushi Marge. Uh, filled me in on Wabadushka and who the, the river snake is. The lives in water, whether that be rivers or lakes or anything. But the number one thing about Wabadushka is that he does not like humans. It's like the human's number one enemy. Then there was a law that Wabadushka had to stay in the water and could never come to the surface, for if it came to the surface, it would do harm on the humans. Wabadushka goes by many other names. To the Lakota people, he is known as Unkchekila. Many nations share this story. I don't know about you, but I don't think I could defeat a huge water snake. Not if I like really even tried, I don't think anyway. had Wabadushka, who didn't really like us. The only thing that we had to protect us, which were very in our favor, was the Thunderbird, also known to us as Bokias. They patrolled the sky and they made sure that Wabadushka didn't attack us. That if you hear lightning strike the ground, that it's actually the Thunderbird throwing lightning at Wabadushka to go back into the water. The Thunderbird can be found in many different cultures, not just the Dakota, Lakota, and Nakota people. The Thunderbird has been found all over the United States, known as Turtle Island. It even spans up to nations that are in Canada, as well as in Mexico. doing a scene of the Wabadushka being in the water and then the Thunderbird patrolling the skies and throwing lightning bolts at Wabadushka. Our stamps that we're going to be making is going to be lightning bolts um, and water shapes like water designs. And so 
And if you want to do more stuff too, like stuff that you would find outside of a lake or a river, like rocks, or maybe if you want to do um, a tree, or if you want to do grass, without further ado, let's begin our activity. Yeah, we're going to first start off with our potato. And in our potato demo, you will need a potato, a cutting knife, an adult doing this part, um, a knife, and or I have like a pumpkin carving utensil, so you could try using that too. And if you are really, really super serious about the craft and making sure that you have the right tools, you can also try a box cutter. A box cutter is pretty nice too. And I am going to kind of use this to be my guide and this guide will show me where to go. So if you have a permanent marker, you can try that. So what you're going to do is with the marker is you're going to kind of copy it on to your potato. Like this is where I'm going to cut it out. This is what I want. cutter which I'll, I'm going to use that this time around and what you're going to do is in a better fashion than me slowly curved lines are a little bit more difficult I think This is the water stone on the, the edges.
Now we're going to use a lightning stamp to shoot lightning into the water hitting Wabadushka. I really love reconnecting with um, my elder and asking more questions and creating this. The end product is you have a wakia, a thunderbird, shooting lightning and going and striking Wapadushka in the water. Go ahead and share pictures. I love to see what people create from here. I'd love to see what the kids did. So post your pictures on Facebook or on Instagram. Thank you for watching this and have a good day.